All right then, gang. So the next component we're going to look at is the card component. Now, cards have been around as components for a long, long time, and they're basically just a small content container with a drop shadow and sometimes a border so that the content looks like a card on the page. Again, they're really flexible and there's a lot of things we can do with cards. If I scroll down the page here, we can see a few different examples. We have one with an image on the top, some text and then a button at the bottom. A more simple one with just some text and links at the bottom. Some with lists inside them and I could keep scrolling for ages to see all the different examples. You can also colorize them using the theme colors. So definitely have a play around with these. For our website, we'll use cards to show the different pricing options for the ebook and also place them into a grid layout. All right, so the cards on our design are gonna go underneath this section right here. So we're gonna have three cards in a row with three different pricing options. So let's start to flesh this out right here underneath pricing plans. So first of all, we need a section and this is gonna have an ID of pricing. And remember, when we click on the pricing thing right here, it's gonna take us to this section on the page. So it's gonna scoot us down. And actually that happens nicely and you'll see that later on. It kind of scrolls to the position on the screen. That's a built-in effect in Bootstrap. So we have this section. I'm also gonna give this a couple of classes. So we'll say class is equal to BG hyphen light. That gives this kind of like a really light gray color. And then also the margin top is gonna to be strength five, just to pull it down from this section a little bit. Okay, so inside this section right here, first of all, I'll do a container to contain all of the content. So container, and it's gonna be LG. So 100% width until large screens, then it goes into container mode. Okay, so in this container, the first thing I'll do is a div, and I'm gonna centralize the text using this text center class. We have an H2 pricing plans, then we have a paragraph, lead to make it a bit bigger and text muted. So it says, choose a pricing plan to suit you. If I save it, we should see that over here, voila. Okay, so now we just need the cards underneath it and they are gonna go inside a grid. So we need a row first of all. So let's do a div with a class of row. And also we'll say MY is gonna be strength five. So this row is gonna have margin top and bottom. All right, so I'm also going to paste in a couple of other classes. So the first class, let me just paste these in, is going to be align item center. And remember that aligns the content vertically in the center. And this one, justify content center, justifies the content horizontally in the center. Okay, so we have this row and we need our different cards inside it. So let's do the first card. I'm going to do a div with a class of col hyphen eight, then also col hyphen LG four, and then call hyphen XL three, like so. So what this means is that initially for extra small screens uh, to begin with, it's gonna be eight columns in width. That's kind of like the default width. And then when you get to large screens, it's gonna be four columns in width. Then on extra large, it's gonna be three columns in width. Okay, so inside here, we want to create our card. So we need a div, and the first thing we do is give this a class of card. All cards have this class. Then I want to, inside that, do some card body or text inside it. And the way we do that is by creating a div with a class of card hyphen body. So card body is all of the chunky meat inside the card, if you like. Okay, so inside the card body, I'm gonna say we want to centralize the text. So I'll give this a text center class as well and also give this a bit of padding so py hyphen four so up and down this has a bit of padding all right so if i just say hello inside here now let me just save this and do that so we can see this on the screen that there is the default card so it's just like a square with a bit of a rounded corner and it's got a border as well now i want to take the border off so i'm going to come to the card right here and I can say border hyphen zero, and that strips away the border. So if I save it now, then we should see the card without a border, awesome. Okay, so instead of this, 
we want a few things inside this card. First of all, I want a title. So I'm going to do an H4 and give this a class of card title. And that styles it as a card title. So this title is going to say Starter Edition. So this is kind of like the title of the pricing plan, if you like, the Starter Edition. And then underneath that, I'll do a paragraph with a class of lead and also a class of card hyphen subtitle. Okay, so again, this just styles it as a card subtitle. And inside here, I'll say ebook download only. Okay, so let's take a look so far at what this looks like. Okay, looking pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is the price. And again, that's going to go inside a paragraph tag. I'm going to make the text quite big. So I'll say display hyphen five and also give this margin top and bottom. So my hyphen four. And then I'll say text is going to be the primary color. So text hyphen primary. And then the font weight is going to be bold. So FW hyphen bold. And then we'll put a price in the middle. I'm just going to say dollars twelve ninety nine. And then after the price, we'll do some card text. So I'll say p.card hyphen text. Again, a bootstrap class to style this. And also mx hyphen five to give it some margin left and right. The text is going to be the muted gray color. So text muted. And then also by default, I want to display as none. But then when it gets to a large size screen, we are going to show it. So I'll say d hyphen lg hyphen block. So to begin with, on smaller screens, it will be display none. When it reaches larger screens, it's going to display as block. Okay. And inside here, we'll just do some lorem ipsum. So lorem eight, for example, and tab. And finally, we'll do a button. So an anchor tag and then a class of BTN. Also a class of BTN outline to make it an outlined button and then color it primary. And then also BTN hyphen LG to make it a large button. And then finally, margin top is going to be three. OK, so this is the button. href is just hash. I must say buy now. So this card right here has a card class. We strip away the border. Then we have the card body, which is where all the kind of meaty stuff goes inside the card. And we centralize the text. We have a card title. We have a card subtitle. Then we just have the price, which is nothing special, just a display five. Then the card text. And then we have a button at the bottom to say buy now. So if I save this, hopefully it's going to look all right. And it does. So there we go, my friends, that is your first card, but we need two more. Now, instead of you watching me type these out from scratch again, I'm going to paste these in one at a time. So let me do the next one and then I'll go through it. So let me paste this card in. It's slightly different, but almost the same. The only real thing that's different is this bit right here where we specify the columns because the first one we say call eight by default and then call four on large and then three on extra large. Whereas this one is call nine by default. So a little bit bigger Then on large screens. It's going to be four, which is the same, but then it never goes to three. It never gets smaller for extra large screens. The rest down here is virtually the same. We have the card class. However, we don't strip out the border. This time we color it the primary color and we give it a thickness of two. Now we say right here as well, we have a card header. Now we didn't have that up here. We just went straight into the card body. But above that, this time we have a card header. And what that does is place a little strip at the top of the card. And we'll see that in a second. And we say text primary. So it's blue. And we say this is the most popular plan. Then after that, we have the card body text center py5 the card title the card subtitle we have the price the display is a little bit bigger display four instead of five remember one is the biggest five is the smallest and then we have the card text again and we have the button at the bottom all right so in fact just so there's the same amount of text on each one let me copy this and i'm going to paste that in here just so it's roughly the same OK, so save that and preview. And now we can see this card right here. So it's a bit bigger and it's styled differently. Now, at the minute, it's not in the same row as this. So I think we might have put this in the wrong place. So we have this card right here and it's yep, the row starts here and it ends here. So let me give us some room there and take this card and we need to paste it after 
this card right here and now it should be in the same row so let's give that a whirl now save this and yep now it's in the same row so we can see now it's a bit bigger it's a bit wider on extra large screens as we go down to smaller size screens we can see it becomes a similar size and then on very small screens they kind of stack on top of each other and notice again this is a bit bigger because we said call nine instead of call eight all right so let me now just paste in the last one so let me grab that and paste it in and walk you through this and to be honest this is probably going to be exactly the same as the first one yes it is so call eight then on large screens four then three on extra large strip out the border of the card we have the card body the text center the py the title the subtitle then we have the price we have this thing right here which is the card text and then we have the button at the bottom let me save that and preview and make this into a larger screen and this is what it looks like so we have the smaller cards on the left and right and then the bigger one in the middle and by the way remember this thing the card header that is this thing at the top that is a card header okay so that's looking pretty good but there's one more thing I want to do and that's just to strip out the gap right here so we can control the gap inside each row individually and all we have to do is use a very simple utility class so I'm going to come to the row and then say G for gap and then hyphen zero and that means zero gap now if I save this we can see the gap has gone I can go all the way up to five to make it a big gap if I save that you're going to see a bigger gap so I'm going to strip it out because I think it looks good when there's no gap save that and yep that looks pretty good to me so there is our pricing plans and all nice and responsive as well and again there's loads of variations like we said before of cards all you need to do is search for the card component and you can see which card you'd kind of like to get copy the code and just play around with it because you can add images at the top if you prefer as well there's different colors and variations we can use if we scroll right down here i think we saw these before but we could see that we can have different color cards like this as well loads of variations so definitely have a play around with them